Hi, welcome to the director's commentary of the Food Tenor Review. We like to include reviews so that you get a feeling for what's current on the market and also learn something about how we analyze the wings and the difference between the different wing classes. You know, it's unlikely that you're going to be wanting to buy the wing that we're reviewing at any given time. But um, we've got all these current wings, we like to test them within the Flybubble crew so we can advise our customers properly. And while we're flying around, I might as well be filming too. So with the review videos, this is where I break out the gimbal camera. Um, it's a GoPro, but it's in a gimbal, um, handheld gimbal mount, which has got three axis um, stabilization. And that's really important when you're doing air to air video when you're trying to film somebody else you really notice the camera shake um, it is a bit of a faff I'm when I'm doing the review with a gimbal I'm flying above Carlo and we've flown together for years so we can operate really really close we were a lot closer than it looks so you probably have filmed something from the air before and been very disappointed because uh, GoPros are such wide-angle lenses unless you are almost able to touch the paraglider it's not going to come up looking any good on the screen I mean I'm in a position here where with a normal pilot they'd be concerned about a mid-air collision um, I'm right on top of Carlo and I'm flying with one hand because my other hand is holding the gimbal to keep it steady and I'm directing the gimbal to try and keep it centered on Carlo I'm also using another trick here. I'm filming in a higher resolution. I'm filming in 2.7K and I'm then cropping out the middle part of the picture. So it looks like I'm a bit more zoomed in than with the normal wide setting on the GoPro. And this just helps me get the subject big enough in the picture. Um, even with flying on top of Carlo, I still need to zoom in to, to get that centered picture. But if I'm going to zoom in, I really have to have the gimbal. Now here you can see the gimbal working to, to its best, where it's keeping everything nice and steady. The other trick that I'm using here is this entire review is filmed at 50 frames a second, and then it's played back at 25. So everything is in slow motion. And that just helps give you this sort of battery smooth movement through the air, which looks really, really nice. Um, and it helps you you know get a nice sharp picture so most of the time when we're flying reviews there's two of us because one of us is filming and one of us is analyzing the wing um, and in this case Carlo had a lot of time on the wing so he did the voiceover um, which I've just found him on Skype and I've got a Skype recording system so I can get his insight into the wing um, it's always difficult to match up the commentary with the footage that you've got so in this case I've just used air-to-air -air footage and I haven't worried too much about matching it up but usually if I'm flying a review wing um, it's quite time consuming because I have to then try and match up the bits where I'm talking about let's say stall point and then I have to find the bit of footage that's got me doing something to do with stall point um, and cutting those little pieces together is is quite a lot of time Some people have asked us whether these are reviews or whether they're endorsements. You know, we sell all of these gliders, so surely we're just going to say, rah, rah, it's the best out. Um, it's not really, um, because our, we've got a long-term goal and a long-term view. Um, we built our business on pilots that come back to us to keep on buying more gear and getting more advice and, you know, as we guide them through their progression. So it's in our best interest to give them good advice. And with that end in mind, we review the wings to try and analyze what it does well. We try and pick out the characteristics that are unique to the wing and what kind of pilot it's best suited to, because then we know we're gonna get happy pilots and that's good for us. Of course, there's a lot of information that we don't publish and a lot of uh, analysis when we flying gliders, maybe a glider's got a problem, we talk amongst ourselves, we do other testing, we haven't got time to publish every single um, review flight that we do, but uh, we hope you enjoy what we can publish and hope it helps you identify what kind of wing you're looking for. 
thanks to all of the patron support that we've got. Really appreciate it. And I look forward to chatting to you more about filming in the next behind the scenes. Cheers.